Hi, my name is Jim Fitzgerald. I'm a uh, large and ultra-large format camera builder and uh, photographer, and I'm a carbon printer. Um, I started, uh, my first camera was a, a ni or, excuse me, a Canon F1 that I bought uh, in 1974, I think it was, and did a lot of uh, low landscape work and some close-up uh, flower photography and photographs of my kids when they were little. Uh, later on in life, I progressed into 120 and 4x5 and then made the mistake of looking through an 8x10 ground glass at Yosemite and uh, bought my first 8x10 uh, camera many years ago. And then uh, the passion for building cameras came uh, from a post on one of the forums by someone telling me that you couldn't build a camera, you needed a machine shop. So that kind of upset me and I decided I'll prove them wrong and I, 18 months later I had my first hand-built camera which was an 820. Then I built my 11 by 14 and then my 1417 and then my 8 by 10. So kind of uh, it's been a long progression and the camera building really started back in around 2001. So from 2001 to 2012 is when I finished my 8x10, I built four cameras. To make a carbon transfer print from start to finish um, is generally a four-day turnaround. So what you have to do is you manufacture all the materials to make the print. Uh, if you buy the materials pre-made, then you can kind of speed things up. But I make everything because it I, I'm kind of a control freak. I mean, hell, I build my cameras and the only thing I don't do is make film or paper, but I control every aspect of it and that's what I like. I'm able to create my work as I see it in my head and there's nobody involved in it other than me. So in pouring the tissues and the materials, there are certain dry times that add to the overall time to make an image, but the actual physical part of making the image from sensitizing to exposing to transferring to developing is about a three hour process. Right? More than that, because the dry times vary on the sensitizer. So me and I were from three to six hour process to make one print. But when you get good at it, I've had days where I've made eight gallery quality prints in a day, in two sessions. I make four in one session, take a break, make four more. And I'm a happy camper. And if I make two or three, it's great. But um, it's never been about how many, it's all about quality. I've always thought if I'm going to do something and I want it to be the best that I can do it, carbon transfer printing for me was the way to get the best uh, of what I see. I made some wonderful silver gelatin prints that I go back and I, I look on, but as far as prints that I've made to date, um, I've got to think that's upwards of gosh, probably three or four hundred carbon prints. Uh, how many more am I going to make? Oh God, easily that. Uh, I'll make probably another, hopefully, thousand carbon prints. Um, I, I shoot a lot. Um, for some reason, I'm able to see things immediately and compose quickly. And whether they're good or bad, I don't know, but a lot of the stuff that I've seen and printed, I'm real happy with and maybe it doesn't appeal to everybody. So I print a lot, I shoot a lot. I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna have quite a bit of, uh, uh, of images to come and I'm never satisfied. I'm, I'm always thinking I can make a better image or there's something better uh, coming. I'm trying to expand myself into some other areas of photography so I'll never be bored. I'll be printing till the day I die.